In this video, I'll show you how you can create a Fiverr seller account so you can list things on Fiverr and start making money from your Fiverr services. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to fiverr.com and then go ahead and join in the top right hand corner. And that will open this window where you can continue with Facebook, Google, Apple, or simply just enter in your email. Once you've entered in your email, click on continue. And now you need to enter in your username and password. Now, one thing to note when you're creating your username, you can't change it inside of Fiverr. So this username will be the username that you have forever. So bear that in mind if you're wanting to base your username around the gigs, maybe rethink that and maybe just have a broader username because you can't change this once you're inside of Fiverr. Now that's done, I'm going to click on join. And now it's going to redirect you to Fiverr to the page that you were on before. Now you're going to have a box here which won't go away until you go ahead and verify your email. So go ahead and verify that email right now. So this is what the email will look like. We can now go ahead and activate our account and that should redirect us back to Fiverr. So here we are now on the homepage. And now what we can do is we can go to edit your profile and that will redirect us to the profile settings where we can just enter in things like our full name. So go ahead and enter in your full name here and then just save changes. So now we've got all of these settings successfully updated. Now we can go into the top right hand corner and click on start selling. And now what we can do, we can scroll down and we can click on become a seller. And now we can go through the process of creating a Fiverr seller account. So it's going to give us a breakdown here, which we can read. But for the video, I'll just continue through this, continue again and continue one more time. So now we've got a four step process that we need to follow to create our account. First things first, go ahead and enter in your name. Then scroll down and enter in a profile picture so your profile stands out. So now I've done that, we can scroll down again and we can now share a bit about our experience, our work experience in this description box here. So go ahead and give it a brief overview of your work, your experience and what you do. This only can reach 150 characters, so just make it brief and short. So my mistake, you can actually write up to 600 characters. It has to be a minimum of 150, but this is what I wrote. You can pause it if you want to. Then scrolling down, go ahead and enter in your language. So I speak English. So I'm going to enter English here and I'm a native English speaker. Don't forget to click on add as well. So we have it added in this box here. Then go ahead and click continue. And then you need to choose your occupation. So click on the box and I'm going to choose, doesn't fit into any of these, so we'll choose other. And now it's telling me to choose two to, two to five of my best skills. So I'm going to give them a broad answer here. So business plans is kind of in with this business tips, online lessons and lead generation. So we're going to then scroll down. Now we can add our skills. So I'm going to choose type in here, YouTube growth, and then I'm going to put beginner for this. And you can add as many skills as you want here. Just make sure they're relevant skills to the jobs that you're going to be posting. Then education. Now I didn't go to college or university, so I'm going to skip that. Again with certification, I haven't got any awards or any degrees or anything like that. And I don't have a personal website, so I'm going to skip all of that. But if it's relevant to you, you can enter it in. Now you're going to be given the option to enter in and attach your social media accounts. You can only attach their Google, Facebook and Twitter. I'm not sure why they leave Instagram behind. But if, you're, if your social media represents your work and it gives clients a better idea, I will go ahead and add these. But for me personally and for the video, I'm just going to continue. And then they already have my email. You can choose to enter in your phone number if you want to secure your account even more. So now you can click on continue and create your first gig and your Fiverr seller account will be created provided you've give them enough information. Like if I've done it, if I do it, I've skipped a lot of steps and it's not going to let me create it because mine is only 30% complete. But go ahead and fill out all of the boxes, get to 65% complete and you'll be able to go ahead and create your account. If that was valuable, let me know in the comments. Please do leave a like and maybe watch this video here.